I'm excited to share this one with you. I mean, who doesn't like to pick up a raw card, especially a good one? And it looks great overall, right? You know, it's like I was looking at this one and I picked it up on eBay. And um, I'm like, hey, you know what? I might even get like a PSA 8 or something like that. You know, it looks really good, right? And then I took a closer look. All right, the back looks pretty good. All right, good, man. Okay, we might got a little, little dent. But then I realized that can you guys see the corners? See the press and see the shine? Let me show you something. I want you to look at all your vintage cards like this. See the extreme shine? See, it's like there's a line. So here's what would happen in my opinion. Super shine. Do you guys see like that there's a texture, a natural like papery texture to this card? As Soon as you get to the corner, goes to pure shine. Here's why. This card was probably in a screw down for years and they probably screwed it as tight as it could possibly go. You wanna look at the bottom edge, look at, there's normal thickness. Now watch as I come across the screen. Look how thin the corners get. Thick in the middle, pinched there. See, look at look how skinny it is right there compared to the middle. That one's super small. Like, look right there. Then look in the middle. So, I quickly realized that. Oh, look at that. Jeez. It's just smashed. So, I th so, you know, like when you buy a rock card, you take a risk. But I was like, shoot, man. How many times have vintage collectors sent in cards to get graded and we get the same thing every time card is smashed or pressed or whatever and and it makes sense I, I do agree with this because if somebody's out here smashing down corners to get a better grade that's one thing but then it's like how do you you know there's ways as of course i show you guys how to work on corners but you just never want to smash smashing it's ruining it so i'm going to show you how to unalter this and we're going to get that texture back and we're gonna hopefully get this card in gradable condition. So thank you guys for watching. I'm Kurt with Kurt's Card Care. And we're just gonna use a little bit of cleaning spray or restoration spray, I should kind of call it because I use it for a lot of things, but I'm just gonna get a little bit of moisture from the spray and we're gonna tap all four corners, front and back. And that's it, that's it. We need to get a little bit of safe, clean moisture in, into this card to bring it back to life a little bit. And then I'm gonna retain it and hold it between a couple plates, but I'm not gonna clip it in or hold it in tight. I just want it to rest flat. So I hope that's a good view for you guys. Just simple cleaning spray. Just, you know, stuff I always use for fixing dents and dings and, you know, stuff like this. But it's really important to check out your cards that you're about to grade or when you buy raw vintage because as soon as you see that super shiny pressed area, anybody grading a card is going to see that too and be like, hey, I can't give this a, a clean bill because it, it's got the heck smashed out of it, which I get it. So we're going to do this to the front and to the back and then we're going to let it hang out. And don't be afraid of a little moisture on a paper card like this. It's, you're not going to hurt it. Just don't scrub on a paper card. You'll rip up the surface and stuff. But And again, guys, I'm just using a little bit of my, my formula here. So it won't, it won't stain on you or anything like that. But we're just going to keep on, as you can see, kind of woke up the edges a little bit. It looks a little bit like lifted up and stuff like that. Don't let that scare you. It's going to go through a process here and we're gonna let it sit tight you know so it just takes a little bit and we might have to do this process a couple times but i think we'll get it to where we need to get it okay so that's step one step two let's pick up montana just gonna put a plate down with a five by seven photograph sleeve on it, oversized sleeve. And we're gonna make it 
sandwich, put another sleeve there. And we're gonna put this right there. And I'm gonna look through the plates right now and just make sure that, sorry, let me get it positioned the way I want. I'm just gonna, even though like the card has been pressed way too hard, I'm just getting a firm little grip on it right there because that little moisture that we put in there will continue to grow and I just wanna hold it in place. So um, it just retains flat and hopefully we get that texture back in those corners. I think we'll be able to do it. Stay tuned. I'm gonna have to let this hang out for a little bit. I'll pick it up here in a second. It's like waiting for a prize. <laughs> All right, so quick recap. This card was super shiny and pinched in all four corners. I believe it was from a screw down. It's probably where it sat for probably most of the 80s and 90s and maybe even till today. I was afraid to send it in because I figured I would just get an altered card because it was smashed and it had no texture. So put a little dabs of cleaning spray on the front and back, just let it chill. Didn't, didn't press it hard, just let it sit like this, all right? So. I'm happy to show this one to you. Check it out. Texture. See all the little bumps back in the corners? See how the texture doesn't stop? That's what I wanted. I wanted the little, the little pock marks to come back. It was pressed so hard, you guys, that there was no texture left. And the card was super duper skinny in those corners. And now look at it. It's good. So that's, guys, I know it's, uh, sometimes I'll show videos that have like a huge turnaround and you know they're fun to watch and this one's really minor, but this is huge. This is really, really important. Think about all the cards from the paper card eras that are refused to be graded because they're just too smashed down by a stupid card protector that turned into a card ruiner. You know, it's like poetic justice to unalter a card from a product that was made to save a card. So I'm proud of this one. And I want to show you that guys that. So just remember, you got a smashed vintage card. You can always do a little bit of card spray on the corners, get it back in shape. And um, I'm going to send this one off to get graded. I'm hoping for hoping for an eight. That'd be awesome. So we'll, we'll go from there. And uh, thanks for watching, you guys. Appreciate all the love and support. I'm Kurt with Kurt's Card Care.